welcome everybody to the Global Family Office Investment Summit hosted here in Dubai by the Ritosa Family Office. Joining us, Heidi Sengen, who is the CEO at Hayert. Uh, Heidi, thank you for joining us and thank you for your precious time with us. Thank you for having me. Heidi, let's start from uh, yourself. Uh, let's introduce yourself and please uh, introduce uh, to our audience, to our viewers, uh, something about the project. So, as you said, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Ert. It's an AI startup coming from Croatia, which is maybe predominantly known for its tourism, but we have also a very vibrant tech scene and a very vibrant artificial intelligence scene. Uh, what we do at Ert is help companies better understand their end customers, and we help them to analyze the transactional data they have on them so they can predict their future behavior. And we've invented our own deep learning techniques specifically for that type of data so that we can really get the superior results for the fraction of the cost. Uh, so we're now building a platform that really can enable any business out there, even if they don't have internal AI expertise, to really benefit of the power of artificial intelligence and improve their business results. Heidi, can you go a little deeper? We were talking about deep learning, but can you go a little deeper uh, throughout the industries maybe you are interested to? Uh, on the other hand, can you shine a light about your, the main services you are offering with Hair? Yes. So we came and grew out of the financial industry because the entire project started from working with a bank. Uh, but down the road we realized that it's not the industry that is very specific for us, but it's the type of data and this type of data exists through various industries. So at the moment we're predominantly focused, of course, financial industry, but telecommunications and retail or e-commerce. But there are many more applications that will have come down the road at some point of time. Uh, because we really see that uh, with this type of data, you can, much, you can profile your end customers much better, you can really understand their needs much better, and you can uh, act towards them proactively instead of reactively. And when it comes to some of the use cases that are most common, if you want to uh, improve your sales by better understanding which of your customers need your product, so we do predictive analytics to really tell you which of your customers are most likely to need and buy your product or which of your customers are most likely to stop using your service or your product and most likely to churn. So again, you want to be able to act proactively and stop them from leaving and you can do that with the help. Well, really, really interesting in the current um, uh, ongoing projects, but let's use your magic ball in order to maybe predict the future, the future of course of Hayert. Uh, which are the next steps that you have got on, uh, on your path and what are you uh, um, thinking about for the next future? So we are now in the fundraising process because uh, the time has come for us to hit the gas pedal and really go into markets, into sales. So we do have a number of clients lined up, but of course you need to have the manpower to support all of your clients coming up. So that is our first focus, really getting the investment so we can grow, scale uh, our business because we want to expand. We are coming from Croatia, but you can do a global business out of Croatia as well. Yeah, and what about uh, Dubai? Because of course it's now more than ever the place to be thanks to the Expo 2020 and all the business attractiveness of the city. But could be Dubai your uh, really uh, launch pod to maybe uh, to, um, to go very beyond the, re the current situation, maybe to go to the future of Hayward? Very much possible. So I do have to say I did come here a little bit by chance, but I'm very happy that that happened because uh, from my country and even the region and Europe in general, we kind of tend to look towards the West. So we look towards the Western Europe and expansion to the US first. But coming here and really seeing what's going on here, it seems like an opportunity that is very good potential that shouldn't be overlooked. So as I said, I'm very happy that I've ended up here so I can check what is going on and yeah. really think about possibility of going in this direction as well. Yeah, the last question for you and then I leave you go to all your uh, meetings and your, all your networking uh, concerning the Ritosa Summit. This is, uh, you told me before the interview, your first time here. So uh, which are your uh, final remarks of this two-day event, uh, your main impressions, your feelings about this very important uh, family wealth gathering? 
I have to say it's an impressive event. So first of all, when you see the lineup of participants, uh, it's amazing opportunity to be able to actually meet people of that caliber who can maybe even make or break your business, uh, as one says. Uh, it is a bit intense, I have to say, especially when you're coming for the first time and you're not really fully aware of what's uh, going to happen. Uh, I've had so many back-to-back -back meetings that it was a little bit of juggling with time, but it was a very rewarding experience that, um, as it looks, will lead to some very good cooperations. Yeah, very good, very good. Thank you for your final remarks, uh, Heidi Senan, CEO at Hayert, and enjoy your time, your free time, maybe also here at the Ritosa Summit, and enjoy the summit, of course. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.